Hi guys, it's me, Maggie Elram, and today I'm doing a book review for you guys. It's been a long time coming, and I received this book towards the end of last year to review, and I never got around to doing it. So, the book that I will be reviewing today is Eclectic Wicca, A Guide for the Modern Witch by Mandy C. And first, let me tell you how pleased I was with the actual book itself. Um, it's a really well-made book. The cover has kind of a, um, like a matte finish almost, which I think is really lovely, and it looks really nice too. I'm definitely the kind of person, I hate to say it, that will judge a book by its cover and not buy something because it looks like really hokey. This is just a very beautiful book and one that I'm very happy to have on my bookshelf amongst all of my other books. One of the things that I felt most set this book apart from a lot of the other books I have is the really beautiful um, artwork that runs throughout the entirety of the book. I hope you can see that. But the whole thing is set up kind of scrapbook style and you have pages of you'll have pages of terms and definitions that look a lot like this. And to me that makes it really easy to find those whenever you're just skimming through instead of like going through pages and pages of text. And I feel like for people who are very visual learners like myself, it really helps you to retain that information. Uh, Mandy has separated it into three different parts. Part one is sort of a informative going over things and what they are and why they are that way. Part two is um, kind of beginning your own practice. And part three is kind of connecting to that spirit and learning how to have a dialogue with spirit and the natural world around you. That's just paraphrasing you guys, that's not actually what they're called. Um, the first thing I did notice about the book is that as far as contents goes, it the table of contents just uh, gives you where the first three are located and then you have to flip to those sections to get the contents for that part of the book, which is totally fine. Um, but I am the type of person who uses books a lot more as reference and not just as, you know, I read this once and that's it kind of thing. Um, so, it, you know, it takes a little bit more time, but it really doesn't take away anything from the book itself. I also did notice that the book does not have an index, which I was kind of sad about because like I said, um, you know, I do use a lot of my wishy books for reference when I'm trying to find some information on something quickly. Now the content on this book, what Mandy actually wrote is quite wonderful. It's very easy to read, it's very easy to understand. Um, she doesn't put a whole bunch of her personal opinions in it, she instead um, outlines her personal experiences with working with the craft. A lot of the how-to portions of the book is the way that she does things and she explicitly states, you know, that you can do things however you want to. I like, I really like the fact that she presents the information in a uh, skeletal sort of way. You have the bare bones of the practice and what it is and what you can do with it. And I think that if I was just starting out, I think that would have been my absolute favorite thing about it because a lot of books that you pick up on Wicca especially, um, even if they're meant to be more eclectic, um, you get a lot of opinions and just a lot of a lot of filler and fluff that goes into there. And I think that eclectic Wicca is a path that is so incredibly personal that it's really not necessary to put a lot of that extra just junk in there that you're not going to use anyways. Because I would have, I recall reading books that some parts were even kind of cringeworthy because of the way that they put their opinion into different like rituals or their views on deities. I just, uh, it really put a bad taste in my mouth as far as like practicing that sort of thing. And so I love the way that Mandy does not do that. Um, she sort of just gives you the basics of Wicca and how a lot of people practice it as a religion and spiritual practice. There is not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of historical reference or source information in this book. 
although she does comment some on like she has a few of the traditional Wicca um, traditions listed in here where you could easily look those up on your own but it doesn't have any like in-depth history or anything like that about Wicca and how it came about. Um, she does go briefly uh, into the origins but it's not like I said it's not super in-depth which if you're just starting out some of that information is so vast it can be quite overwhelming and I think if you do have that type of stuff at the beginning of a book it kind of discourages people um, from continuing so I do kind of like the way that she briefly touches on topics um, for historical purposes but just kind of moves on for those endless you know, the reader to continue to do their own research um, if needed. She does go over as far as um, deities and stuff. She does touch on the duality that is most commonly found in Wicca with the god and the goddess. She talks a little bit about different pantheons and, and she has some really great lists and ideas in here for when you're beginning and stuff that you can do and I think that is really wonderful. And all the while, you know, reassuring the reader that you can do what feels right to you and it's your path and this is the way I do it, this is the way that other people do it, but you should do exactly what feels the best to you. And I think that's really nice. Look at this. This is a consecration ritual within the book. And it's stuff like that that makes this book so beautiful and really fun to read. She also has a really awesome list on what to put in your book of shadows and how to keep record of what all you're doing as well as in the back she has some pages to start your own kind of like practice book of shadows so whenever you're getting ready to actually start your own you kind of have somewhere to start with. She also touches on some of the more new age ideas like vision boards and finding your bliss which I think it's really good because I know a lot of people are looking for a direction whenever they're starting their path. They're looking for a direction to take their life in. And a lot of people look towards um, religion, spirituality, and magic to find that direction. And so she does speak some about, you know, really how to define what it is you want from your life and what that looks like when you do find the definition of what you're seeking and from life. Overall, I think the book is absolutely amazing and I would definitely recommend it to any first time um, reader or beginner witch or even for the season witch to use as a quick guide on their bookshelf. Um, I actually have a friend right now who is just getting into Wicca and I told her as soon as I was done with the book I will let her borrow it because like I said, it's just so great, you know basic beginner guide and it's really hard to find those these days that don't have a lot of that extra crap and opinions from the author or whatever. I think Mandy did a really wonderful job and I recommend to anybody starting out um, on their path or starting out in Wicca, I would highly recommend, recommend this book to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed that review. I hope you go and check out uh, Mandy C's channel. She's a YouTuber as well, I'm sure you know. And I hope you get a chance to get a copy of her book, Eclectic Wicca, A Guide for the Modern Witch by Mandy C. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.